Sometimes two become one, <laughs> till debt do they part. Unfortunately, in my practice, I hear that often. Financial advisors see money problems end in divorce or in unhealthy silence. They stopped talking about money because every time they talked about money, it was a fight. Surveys find 70% of married people argue about money, more than household chores, togetherness, even sex. And more than a third of couples who are stressed blame finances, but not Bob and Gail Schultz. I couldn't imagine fighting with him over money. Together 44 years, they've been an open book, an open checkbook, really, from day one. And I told him the first thing, I want to be honest. Communication is key. They need to be more comfortable with the subject of money. Experts recommend couples meet regularly to talk about all finances, also have a budget, and allow allowances. It's nice to have a little account on the side that's yours that you can treat and reward yourself, but actually be doing that with the approval of your spouse. Advice that may help a marriage be richer rather than poorer with more good times than bad.